never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and come along and join my YouTube family. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you subscribers. It really means the world to me that you are continuing to stick by me in the new year. So anyway, I also wanted to welcome all my new subscribers that I have seen come along. After, you know, the shout out from Bobby in Cambria, I am so, <laughs> I am so grateful that you guys decided to give my videos a chance after, after them shouting me out. They are such amazing people. If you guys don't know them, definitely go check out their channel. They have a vlog channel and then there's also Living with Cambria who is a cleaning channel. And she gives me a lot of motivation, you guys, and just inspiration for my own channel. I absolutely love them. Um, they actually live kind of right up the road from me. We're in the same county, but different towns. But they are just absolutely amazing. So if you are from their channel, thank you so much for coming over. Um, to give you a little bit of backstory, I'm Tammy. I have four kiddos and an amazing husband. I am a stay-at-home mom. Um, I kind of run the household, if you will, and do the taxiing and taking care of our kiddos. And my hubby does an amazing job at providing for our family um, by working. <laughs> he works his tail off, and I couldn't be more grateful. So anyway, we are kind of have a similar story, I guess, as Cambria and Bobby. We moved from the Midwest, Nebraska specifically down to Florida about a year and a half ago. Um, it was actually the end of June of 2022. And yeah, we bought our home. We remodeled the kitchen. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. It looks completely different. We've done a few other things like adding this fire, the fireplace in the living room, this uh, wall on the background here, the grid wall you see, and a ton of other things. I love doing a bunch of motivating content, um, whether that is decorating or cleaning. I love to share my grocery hauls with you guys. And I also like to do shopping hauls um, or shop with me to kind of show you guys what is new in stores, um, more specifically like Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, um, all the stores like that. So Anyway, I am so grateful that you are here with me. We have a bunch of cleaning that I need to get done here today. In today's video, um, we're gonna do a main focus of the bedroom, but this is a very realistic clean for me. You know, sometimes I get focused in on providing a video that is motivational, but I also like to be very real um, and just, you know, just try to keep things as real as possible around here. And your girl cleans kind of weird. <laughs> Um, I kind of bounce around um, from here to here, but it's it makes sense to me, so I hope that it makes sense to you. Um, as you saw, we did start in the bedroom. We clean. I pulled the sheets off, and while the sheets are washing, I noticed that this table needed to be decluttered. Um, so I went ahead and decluttered it. This is right after my kids went back to school from being off for almost three weeks. They were off. For I, for I think it's like 18 or 19 days uh, for the winter break and I didn't really do a whole lot of cleaning. I kind of just enjoyed my family being home because my husband was home a lot of those days as well and we just kind of enjoyed the time together. So now that everybody is back to work, back to school, it's time for me to do my job and get this house put back together in the way it needs to be to keep my sanity. Never get it wrong, it's always right Waking the plate, being the plate She is on a roof Never seen it like this Didn't think it existed, no truth Don't get in the way, she's not here to play She'll get moochy But don't mistake this girl for being me Cause these are dreams 
In my previous video, you saw me working on a ton of laundry. Like I said, we are a family of six and we run about 20 loads a week. So this is mine and my husband's laundry. And since I didn't put it away when I washed it, I did fold it. I just didn't put it away. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm just starting with my laundry. So the way I like to do things um, or that I'm, it's kind of something new that I'm trying. I before used to just, you know, load up the basket. Our clothes take about two loads a week per me or my husband. Um, and so that's a total of four loads for me and my husband. Um, and usually I would just load up the basket, you know, wash, dry, fill the basket, move the clothes from the washer to the dryer, and then dump everything on the bed and fold it that way. I'm going to try something, though. When I was younger, uh, my mom would wash clothes and we would just stand at the washer and dryer and fold everything right there and then take it right to the room and put it away. So I decided I'm going to try doing that. I'm going to start uh, folding the clothes as they come out of the dryer. Part of this is just uh, trying to touch things as less as possible, I guess, because I feel like when you move things around, you're less likely to put them away. And so I kind of felt like, you know, just getting that part done helps to cut out or el eliminate another step. Um, also, we have switched from no longer using downy or dryer sheets, and we are now just using like the wool balls. Um, I did pick them up at Buff City Soap. I don't know if you guys have any local to you. Um, I know we had them back in Nebraska, and we do have them here in Florida, so I'm pretty sure that they're pretty much everywhere. Uh, but anyway, they're all natural um, and they're wool balls that are scented and they smell amazing and they make our clothes smell amazing. Uh, but the wool also helps pull out the static. So anyway, as I'm saying this, um, I'm more or less meaning that um, I'm losing my train of thought. Okay, so I am also folding the clothes because I also, I find it easier to find all the wool balls <laughs> instead of trying to dig them out as I'm digging clothes out. Just fold them. It makes it a lot easier. And then I can find all the wool balls and they're in the dryer for the next go around. And I know you see me folding my husband's clothes. They were already folded, um, but I will say that he does not put things away the same way I do. I am much more picky when it comes to putting clothes away. His side of the closet is like color coded, just like mine is color coded. Um, I fold things differently than he does because then I prop them up so you can see instead of digging through things or digging through your drawers to find what you're looking for, I fold them so like, they, they are uh, laid out kind of vertically as opposed to horizontally. No, they're laid out horizontally as opposed to vertically. I don't even know what I'm saying. But anyway, I try to fold things and put them away so you can tell what they are. You can kind of see here in the video clip, these are my husband's shorts. And I'm basically just going through, he put his clothes away um, a few weeks ago. And so I'm basically just going through and fixing fixing to my standards, I guess, his clothes. He doesn't care. Um, he knows that it bothers me and he knows that I will fix it. Uh, but again, he doesn't care. It's literally, it's just me being silly like that. So um, yeah, I just, <laughs> now in his pants, you can see I just put in there normally cause I was fed up. I'm like, yeah, whatever, we're done. I fixed two drawers, <laughs> I'm over it, so. Anyway, if you're wondering what I'm doing, that is what I'm doing. I was just putting his clothes away and then kind of refolding what was not folded.
So like I said before, I started in the bedroom because I knew I wanted to wash my sheets and bedding for whatever reason takes forever to wash. So I wash it in three or well, about four different cycles. Um, I have right there, you can see our uh, mattress protector and then we wash the sheets and the blank in the like thinner blanket and then um, I will also wash like the other blankets on their own um, and then I will wash the comforter as well. Now I will say that I don't always wash the mattress pad and I don't always wash the comforter. Um, I try to wash linens weekly but those two items I typically wash more on like a monthly cycle. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this was the time that I needed to wash them. And like I said, I wanted to get things washed while I was doing other projects, other cleaning projects, if you will. Uh, like I cleared off the dining room table that was collecting all our goodies from over winter break. And then I also got those clothes put away all while this mattress pad washed and dried. And then I also got the load of sheets in the washer. And so that's what you saw me switch over. And then for those of you that are new, I know you see the kitty in there. Um, that is Miko. He is our male tabby. And then we also have a female calico Lottie. They are our babies, our fur babies that we did move down from Nebraska to Florida with. Um, I think I'm trying to remember. So Miko will be four and Lottie will be three. So they're kind of on the young side. Um, Lottie, we got, let's see, the year before we moved, and then Miko, we got in 2020. Um, we got them from a friend of ours who lives on a farm. So they were farm kitties, but we semi-rescued them, I guess, from the cold. So, because it's still cold in Nebraska in March, if you didn't know that. But anyway, we absolutely love them. They're so cute and so funny and definitely a big part of my videos because... Uh, especially Miko. He is very curious and always wants to know what is going on. Also, I wanted to bring up how shiny this dusting spray is. I have picked this spray up at Lowe's. I don't even know the name of it. It's like liquid gold or liquid something to that effect. Um, but I was like, holy macaroni. It was really bringing the shine out on the wood. I will try to remember to link it for you guys if I can find it online. Because I could not believe how like renewing my wood furniture, like that it was doing to my wood furniture. These wood pieces have been around for quite some time. I think we've had them for like 12, maybe 13 years I don't know if they're quite 13 years but we've had them for quite a while uh, so they you know just have your normal wear and tear and they just get not shiny anymore you know all the things and so I was pleasantly surprised when I saw how well this dusting spray was working
seems that with the new year, everybody likes to make New Year's goals or resolution resolutions resolutions. Is that right? Why does that not sound right? Revolutions resolutions New Year's resolutions. That's right, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, so I'm curious. I would love to hear some of your goals that you guys have for your, the New Year's. Um, what are you wanting for yourselves for 2024? Maybe not necessarily like your family or your kids, but literally like you. What do you want to see for yourself? Um, I know, I think some of my goals, I would really like to focus on some, just focusing on self-care. I have a really hard time, you know, just making sure that I'm taken care of. Uh, because I am very busy <laughs> taking care of everybody else. Um, I also would love to see my channel grow. I have been working at this channel for years, <laughs> um, but really focusing on it just the past couple years, and I would really just love to see it grow. Um, so I'm hoping that, I don't know, Maybe we can see 10,000, 15,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know that's big, big goals right now, especially where my channel is at. And it's been slow and steady, but that's okay. Um, I just really would love to see it grow. And, you know, just to sh continue sharing motivation for everybody. Um, I, I don't know. I also, I would love to just pay off some debt because who doesn't have debt in this current situation and uh, this current economy, but uh, yeah, there's a few things I would like to do. I would also like to just like complete a few projects that we have going on or that I had intended of doing last year. So there's a lot of things I just have kind of you know, on my little checklist of goals, of uh, things that I want to do in 2024. So anyway, share your goals with me. I'm, I would love to hear all about them. Secrets for way too long This can't keep going on With every lie They keep on hurting you Getting away with everything they do This can't keep going on oh. We're gonna find them And I'm gonna fight for you They better start hiding We'll be running with the lions Lions We did move on to the next morning. I had some other things get me sidetracked the day before. So I do want to go ahead though and just kind of finish things up that I had intended to do the day before. Uh, like finish making the bed for instance. And then I do want to get this rug shampooed. This rug, uh, when we first brought it, was white. And I absolutely loved it. Is this actually a carpet remnant that we had binded? Um, be and it's much cheaper. I think we paid like 200 bucks for it as opposed to buying an actual like nine by 12 rug. It like nine by 12 rugs are expensive, you guys. You know what I mean? Like you're talking probably four, five, six, even like thousands of dollars for such a big rug and so if you are ever in a pinch or you need something more cost effective definitely check your carpet stores and see if they have anything available um, to purchase and have somebody bind them we actually picked this up at nebraska furniture mart in the omaha nebraska area if you guys know you know i don't know if the other nebraska furniture marts do it like in kansas city and then in dallas but that's where we got ours and Going back to what I was saying, it was initially white. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking getting a white carpet. <laughs> 
But we did this room. We set up this room, the bed, the rug, everything. And then we demoed our kitchen. And instead of shutting the door or covering things with plastic, I don't know. <laughs> um, I guess that's what you call um, rookies. We made a huge rookie mistake and left everything open and it covered the dust from the kitchen just went everywhere and it covered this rug and this rug has just never been the same. <laughs> so anyway, I, I carpet, I shampoo it often. It helps, but it just does not get all of the, the mis the discoloration out of it. I think at some point though, I saw on Cambria's channel that she took her rugs outside and sprayed them off with a power washer and we do have a uh, power washer, a pressure washer. Um, and I think our driveway should be big enough and clean enough to take this outside maybe this summer and try to pressure wash it. <laughs> because you guys, I have been looking, you know, I know those of you that have been around for a while, you guys know that I want to redo the bedroom and I am like slowly purchasing things to do that. But the rugs are really just getting me and I really, really don't want to pay the price of a different rug. <laughs> so I am going to try to salvage it, salvage it. And I'm hoping that sometime this summer I can un take it out from underneath the bed, take it outside and just spray it down. Maybe uh, put some Dawn dish soap on it. Maybe that would help. Um, and then just let it sit in the Florida sun. And I'm hoping that it will help bring some of the white back and maybe be able to get some more of the dirt out of there. But anyway, I also, this is real time. I usually speed up the shampooing process uh, because I go so slow when I shampoo. You kind of have to. It helps when you go slow going forward and those bristles get down in the carpets and really just get the carpet fibers moving the dust moving and everything and then when you go to pull back and go super slow it helps suck all that dirty water out of the carpet I will say I don't show it on here I do like to go over the carpet though a couple times um realistically you yeah, should go over it until the water comes out clear your girl is a busy mom. I don't have time for that. Um, but these dumps are so satisfying. Like this one isn't even the bad dump. But anyway, so anyway, as I was saying, I I like to go super slow and I do do it a couple different times. I The first time I like to do it with a cleaning solution, which is the Hoover Pet. Um, there is a pet stain remover. Uh, we don't have bathroom issues with the cats, but cats do, you know, throw up and they like to leave those little presents on this rug. So, <laughs> um, it is a great spot remover. I absolutely love Hoover shampooers. If you're here from my Hoover shampooer review video, that one is my absolute favorite. But when we moved, we did not bring it with us. And then when we got down here, I bought this one. I do have this one linked in my Amazon storefront if you are ever interested. Um, as with most of the items that I have or use, if they came from Amazon or if you can find them on Amazon, I do have them linked in my storefront. But anyway, I absolutely love this carpet shampooer. And so I'm just doing it my very best. But like I said, I'm hoping this summer I would really like to get this outside and just see if I can salvage it anymore. Now that we're done in the bedroom, there's just a few things that I wanted to get done in the kitchen today. Uh, just some minor things, clearing off the clutter on the counter, getting some things restocked, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the dishes. Uh, 
Again, if you're new here, typically my kiddos, we have four kiddos. We have a 16 year old, a 14 year old, a 12 year old, and a nine year old. And typically my older three, they will switch weekly on doing chores. Those chores include doing the dishes nightly. Um, but sometimes I probably about once or so a week, I will go in and actually do their chores for them so they don't have to. Um, one, I like to film it and give you guys content. And then two, sometimes if I know it's a busy day for them, if, um, you know, especially the high, my high schoolers, I know that they're either testing or whatever it is. I just like to go in there and clean, uh, for them for their week. That way they don't have to worry about it. They can focus on what they're supposed to focus on with school. But again, we are a firm believer in chores. Um, in our household, we believe that everybody that lives here should help here. So we all do pretty much anything and everything. I'm not always the one doing all the cleaning. I do the majority of it, but that's because I am home. And so that's kind of my job to do. But don't get me wrong. My husband will definitely do a lot of things outside, which I don't typically do outside stuff because your girl is terrified of snakes. And yes, I know I moved to Florida where there are a lot of snakes. <laughs> um, but anyway, I typically stick to the inside stuff, but we do give our children chores. So I don't know where I was going with that. I just kind of wanted to share that I was doing them. Um, but nine times out of 10, it's usually our kids that work on the dishes and doing chores like that. The advice there is and none of it has helped I'm so tired of love songs Sick and tired of love songs I'm so tired of you Ooh, Sick and tired of you I'm so tired of love songs That never turns out the way they do I've been trying for so I do want to note that I will have some decluttering videos coming up for you guys. I oh, I am loading up on the cups and I don't know where all these cups are coming from. So, and then some other dishes and stuff that we brought with us that we haven't used. And since it's been a complete full year since we moved here, I do want to just go through and make sure that I just get, get rid of or declutter, donate, give away some things where they can be used in a better situation than taking up space in my cupboard. So anyway, if you haven't yet already, I would really appreciate you hitting that red subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you guys are doing in this new year and share with your family and friends. It's all free for you to do. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it helps my channel out a ton and it lets the YouTube algorithm know that you guys are enjoying my content which I hope you guys are. <laughs> um, but anyway, guys, I, again, I hope you all stay happy, healthy, and safe. And I hope the new year is going well for all of you. Um, anyway, I guess that leaves me here and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.
lips start to dry Even when the sun begins to shine again I'm taking all the advice there is and none of it has helped Experience has made me realize that I won't build my life on empty words Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier, or welcome if you are new. If you are new, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button, come along and join my YouTube family. I am so grateful that you guys decided to click on my video today. We have a lot to get done. It is the new year and it is time to reset and refresh this house because it is a mess <laughs> and we also need to take down all of the Christmas decor. It's time. I'm ready. I will say that I have been delaying it for quite some time because I honestly, I just wasn't ready, but it's time. It's time to come down. It's time to start this new year and just have a clean, refreshed house. But <laughs> first, because we have a lot to get done today, I oh, I love to throw dinners in the crock pot because it is so much easier. So that way I am just, you know, throwing in a meal and then I can go off and clean and do anything and everything that I need to. And then by the time it's dinner time and I'm exhausted from cleaning, I don't have to cook anything because it's already made. So we're going to go ahead, throw in some ham hocks in here and make some ham and even when my teardrops start to dry And even when the sun begins to shine again I've taken all the advice there is and none of it has helped I'm so tired of love songs, sick and tired of love songs I'm so tired If you're interested, I do have this recipe on my channel. Um, I will say this go around, I did add a little bit more ham because the hocks that I have were pretty picked dry, but I like to get the flavor from the bone marrow and that, and even the leftover pieces that are on the ham hocks. But anyway, so I just had a few ham steaks. You could use some other pieces of chopped ham or anything really um, and just add it. It gives it not only just a little bit more flavor, but also uh, a little bit more, uh, I don't know what the word is, but just a little bit more to the soup. So it's a little bit more stick to your bones. You know what I mean? But anyway, we're going to go ahead, let that sit on low while I am doing all of the cleaning. Another thing I like to do before I start cleaning or even while I'm cleaning is to run the laundry. So you'll see um, today's video is very much a realistic clean for me. I, you know, I start cleaning, I stop enough to go do some laundry and then I go back to cleaning and kind of go back and forth like that. I like to basically, you know, kill two birds with one stone and that way the washer is running and the dryer is running while I'm busy doing other things. So, you know, we're a family of six. <laughs> we have a lot of, um, a lot of laundry in this household. I think I counted it and it's like upwards of 20 loads of week, a week of laundry. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this laundry switched around and get Freddy's clothes folded before I start on the very uh, big task of the day. And that is taking down the Christmas I'm decor. Buy, I'm a buy plane ticket, run away to LA for a minute.
I hope everybody is having a great start to 2024. The new year is here and I cannot believe it. It has gone by so fast, you guys. But anyway, I hope you all are just having a great new year. I know we're only a few days in, but you just never know. Um, did you guys have a good, uh, I almost said good Eve. Well, did you have a good Christmas? Um, we did, everything went great. We went up to St. Augustine and saw lights. We went to the Daytona Beach Speedway to see lights. Um, I love Christmas lights, but anyway, and then New Year's Eve, we played Monopoly for the first time ever as a family. Um, they actually came out with a Space Coast one, so it's like all things Brevard County, like the Cocoa Beach Pier, um, manatee stuff, there's restaurants on there, all the things in that general vicinity of like the Florida Space Coast, So, which I thought was really cool. So we got that board game and then we played that. Um, we actually ended up stopping so we could go over to the beach because we had like played for like two and a half hours and the game was really nowhere near done. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. Um, but like I said, we ended up stopping and then heading over to the beach uh, so we could see the fireworks that they shoot off of the Daytona Beach Pier. Um, like on the main strip area, they have a huge New Year's Eve party. Um, so we go to a little section of the beach and you can see the, the fireworks perfectly. Um, there are also a lot of other people there just shooting off the beach or shooting off uh, fireworks on the beach right by us they had like a bonfire and everything it was absolutely perfect there's just something that's so magical about seeing the fireworks the bright flashing colors just over the ocean the waves crashing in the background the huge moon because i don't know that it was necessarily a full moon but it was just like beautiful um but i absolutely love it so let me know down in the comments what you guys did for your New Year's Eve. I love hearing about other people's traditions. Um, we did make all of our snacks. I changed up the little Smokies for meatballs this year. I will say I, I didn't have the meatballs in as long as I should have. They were kind of cold still in the middle, so we kind of had to warm them up in the microwave, but it all turned out okay. Uh, yeah, but... Anyway, we're just going to get another load of laundry here going so that way I can get started on the living room and share that with you guys because as you can see, Christmas is still up at the moment, but we're about to take it all down. And I can't, I cannot lie you guys, I, I had a really hard time taking down the Christmas stuff this year. I was very much slacking on it. Typically, like on my Facebook memories, usually it's down within a day or two of Christmas. It's, you know, the lovely Facebook memories. But anyway, this year, I I don't know what it is. I just did not want to take it down. I absolutely loved my decor this year. But like I said earlier, it was time. It really just needed to come down and give us a fresh start to the new year. I'm kind of sad at taking these mirrors down, but I don't know. I absolutely loved having them up there. It was just beautiful seeing the reflection of the Christmas lights from the tree and in the garland. And just, it kind of just made the room feel a lot bigger. But I did take them down because the matching mirrors are actually for our bathroom whenever we get around to that renovation. And then the big mirror in the back is my daughters and they've been begging for it back so i wanted to take it all down and then get the original cow picture up here um i have i get a lot of questions of where this cow uh canvas is from it's actually a picture that i took when we were in texas we went to the the 
the uh, Fort Worth Stockyards and you can see like a Longhorn Parade. I forget exactly what it's called, but anyway, it's basically they take all their Longhorn cattle and walk them down the main street in the Fort Worth Stockyards. And so it was just a picture that I took and then I had it blown up and put on a canvas. Um, I love it. I, I really do, even though I, I kind of prefer the mirrors more here, but I, I get a lot of qu questions on it, compliments on it. So I did come back. I did put it back up. I will say though, I need to find something to put on like the shelf here. Um, some more wood or like lighter wood, natural wood coloring items. Um, because it's a very uh, bland, very, very cold, very black and gray, black, white and gray. You know what I mean? Very grayscale, I guess, if you will. And so, yeah, I, I have a doble I'm thinking about putting in the middle there to kind of help draw warmth to the area. Um, but anyway, I'm also just going to dust these shoe shells off because I noticed that they were getting a little bit dusty. So we're gonna go ahead and finish cleaning those up and then we will move on to the, uh, wanna, the other side. I wanna, the Christmas tree. I wanna stay here with you. You guys, I am so bummed seeing my deer. <laughs> I was packing them all away and I thought I was being very careful and kind of packing things around and trying to get it so that the antlers would not get broken and I ended up breaking one of the antlers. Um, I just left him. I Hopefully I'll be able to fix it the next time I use it. Uh, but I'm so bummed. I'm like, I literally spent so much time trying to find one that wasn't broken at the store. I tried so carefully to get it all the way home without getting it broken. And it sat up the whole two months, two and a half months that the decor was up and then it broke <laughs> when I went to put it away. So I was so bummed, but it is what it is. I know that things like that happen, but anyway, I, I really just loved this tree this year. And you know what? I, I got this tree. I don't know if you guys remember, but I did get this tree from King of Christmas. They were so grateful or gracious and sent it to me. And I am very, very grateful for it. It is probably one of the best trees that I have ever owned in my life. It, um, honestly, the only thing that was on the ground, like is normal dirt, sand, whatever from our feet, from normal living in a home. There were no, like, you know how normal Christmas trees, like they leave like little, the green things all over the ground, whether they are real or uh, fake, they always leave that green stuff all over the place. And this tree did not. I was so impressed with this tree. It is the most sturdy, just such a great solid tree. So uh, they are having a huge, I don't get any credit for this. I'm literally just telling you this out of, uh, it is hundred percent my own opinion, um, at this point, but they, they're having huge clearance sales right now. And if you guys are interested in a King of Christmas tree, now is the time to buy one. I promise you, I absolutely love this tree and I would not hesitate to actually purchase another one. Thank you. 
it was so funny when my kids got home from school after i took everything down they were like whoa <laughs> it is so empty it is so bare uh but i know it is but you know what it's nice to also as like i said as much as i didn't want to take it down it is so nice to just have simplicity just un uncluttered decluttered space again uh you know but it's okay it'll only be here for a week or two because we're gonna be decorating for valentine soon um i did do a shop with me you guys will be seeing that video next that'll come out on friday i know this video is going up a little bit late for you guys and i do apologize for that um for the new year i do want to stick to my schedule of uh wednesday friday sunday posting i am thinking about changing from 11 o'clock to one o'clock for posting we'll see how that goes i may or may not go with that um let me know down in the comments if that makes a difference for you guys or if there's better days that you guys would prefer me to post on um but we are going to stick with a bunch of cleaning motivation videos i will have some grocery hauls for you guys i like sharing those and you guys seem to like them as well it also kind of keeps a record um because i kind of like to go back and see how much i spent you know like a year ago or a couple years ago um you know and just comparing and then also i like seeing other people's grocery haul to see what they spend on food you know in different regions of the, the world or in the u.s i think it's just kind of fun to do that so i like to share my my grocery hauls with you guys and like i said you guys seem to like those too so those will definitely be coming cleaning motivation and then there will be some decor motivation we have some um makeovers that we're wanting to do the bedroom one will definitely be one i already have stuff ordered for that and i have my pinterest board full of ideas so i can't wait to share that with you guys and then we will be doing the bathroom at some point our main bathroom that is um as far as makeovers go here in the next few months and then like i said we are going to be decorating for valentine's day i'm going to be sharing that shop with me we went to a couple different home goods um to see what the different things are one had a lot one did not have much which is kind of crazy because the one that i thought would have like everything we drove like an hour away for um but the one local to us actually had a lot more items i was kind of pleasantly surprised but i'll be sharing that uh with a haul here like i said on friday but um anyway if there's anything that you guys would like me to see me do or to share or something that you guys have seen me do in the past and would like to see like an updated video or something like that let me know down in the comments i would be forever grateful for your ideas because i do film for you guys as much as i love to film i love to edit and just share my life my home with you guys um you know again i do do it for you because if you weren't there there would be nobody else watching so i do want to just say that i absolutely appreciate each and every one of you sticking with me through the new year i really have big goals for my channel this year and i'm really hoping to reach everything so anyway guys we're gonna go ahead and finish up here there's not much left to do but again there is it's like there's so much it's never ending Sweet talking to me Now I'm talking sweet all by myself Put your arms around me Put your faith in me Put your love on me What you need from me Need your love on me Put your love on me I'm gonna do everything for you I don't want anyone but you Put your arms around me Put your faith in me Put your love on me
Okay, so when I was cleaning this little jar, I don't know if you guys just saw it, but I definitely just found my daughter's tooth still sitting there. Uh, she pulled one of her baby teeth, I don't know when, and apparently she put it in this little platter dish bowl thing that we have sitting here, and I just found it. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck is that? Uh, but I'm curious because I know growing up, my mom would always save my baby teeth. And then when she passed and we were going through her things and stuff, I, I found them all. And I was like, okay, wh what do I do with this? I ended up actually throwing them away. Um, so that's going to be an interesting find if anybody ever finds those, but <laughs> like out in the garbage in the landfill. But I'm curious, do you guys save your kids' baby teeth? I typically do. Um... But the, I asked my husband, I'm like, should I even be saving these? Is it weird? <laughs> I don't know. I have friends that save them and then I have friends that throw them out. But I'm just curious what y'all do. Do you keep your kids baby teeth or do you throw them out? Let me know down in the comments. Dressed in a gown, everybody's like, why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store, I think I'd have it all, tell you why I've even more Picking a plate, being a plate, she is on a rule Never seen her like this, didn't think it existed, no truly Don't get in her way, she's not in a place, she'll get moody But don't mistake this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules So I like to, when I go to like reset the couch I do this probably every other week or so I like to rotate the cushions Um I vacuum under them or whatever and then I just rotate and I just kind of move one down and then move the other one to the end of the line and push the rest down. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it kind of helps with one not getting o more overuse than the other. But then you have the end one on the other on the like lounge part of our couch that is like oddly shaped and it's not shaped the same as the others. And you can definitely tell that is my husband's spot of the couch. And he, you can tell that he sits on that, on like that. And there's nothing I can do to like rotate or anything like that. And it's getting so frustrating. I don't know. This couch was not cheap per se. Uh, it probably wasn't like the most expensive couch in the world. Well, I know it wasn't, but um, it was still a good priced couch. Something that I've never paid price wise and i am so disappointed in it i i don't know i would love to replace it with leather i know you guys that have been around for a while you guys have heard me say that and i'm still on the hunt for a good leather couch i'm kind of just nervous to i guess bite the bullet and buy a, a leather couch because i see a lot of them nowadays too where they make like the top leather and then the back and the sides is like a faux leather and I would prefer it to be all leather, uh, especially because I'm going to be paying, I know, a lot for it. But it's kind of been put on the back burner for right now. It's just not in the budget, realistically, and everything. But I would really, really love to get rid of this couch. I am so, like, upset with myself for purchasing it. But, you know, we moved and we really just did not... We didn't bring our other couch because we didn't have room for it, and I'm regretting that. But it is what it is. You can't really go back and change anything, so it's whatever. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and just get everything finished up here. We're going to vacuum and mop, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you a before. So you guys kind of have a reminder before the final look. never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together 
Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby Alrighty guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for coming along again. Welcome to 2024. I hope you guys will continue to stick with me throughout the year. But anyway, if you would give this video a big thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, share with your friends. It's all free, but it really helps my channel out a ton. It kind of lets the YouTube algorithm know that you guys are liking my stuff and it'll continue to push it out to more and more people. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I have huge plans for my channel and I really just would hope that it grows and I hope you guys will stick by me and stick with me but anyway I hope you all stay happy healthy and safe in the new year and we will see you in the next one bye guys myself and I'm thinking out loud we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time and I know it so well I will always be by your side Cause you You gotta help me disappear From all those voices that I fear And all the moments I can handle Cause I'm different You have to promise to stay near Always telling me the truth That's why I lean on you You got the mind to see what's coming And you're my ears when I can't hear You know what's right from wrong What to say and what to wear You know there's more than I can bear You're always telling me the truth That's why I lean on you Just like you know that I always do Oh listen now, I'll ever make it So help me pull through Whenever I've been enough more than I can chew That's when I lean you. you bring me home when I'm distracted yeah. You put me where I need to be An opportunity on which I never would have acted I need your eyes when I can't see Oh, You're always telling me the truth that's why I lean on you Just like you know that I always do Oh, listen now, I'll never make it So help me pull through Whenever I've bitten off more than I can chew That's when I lean on you Sometimes I'm mine Second, my hands are always shaking. I need your strength to see things through. And when I see no reason, times my mind is set on things that make no sense and just ain't true. Whenever I'm lost, I want you close. I need to lean on you.
Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier. We are fresh off of a long three day weekend. I hope you all had a great weekend, but we are back at it. All the kiddos went back to school, Fred is back to work, and it is time to get this house just reset, refreshed after a long weekend. So I did go ahead and throw a Mississippi roast in the crock pot for dinner tonight. I like to do that on days that I know that I'm going to be kind of cleaning all day. Um, it just makes dinner time much easier to handle. So I can basically, you know, we like to kill two birds with one stone around here and make things easier and not harder. So I did go ahead, throw a load of my laundry in the wash before getting the roast started. The roast is started though, so let's go ahead and get around to getting this house cleaned up. It is so dreary, so it's been kind of hard to kind of get things and get motivated. Um, let me know what the weather's been like around you because here in Florida, it has been odd. It has been cooler um, and just rainy and dreary which is not the normal Florida winter that I, I've been around before. So it's definitely been hard to get things, to get motivated, to get to doing things when it's been this dreary, but I'm hoping today that we can tackle some of these projects or these just areas in the house that need to be cleaned up and taken care of. So let's go ahead and do that together now. I'll never make it, so help me pull through Whenever I bid an Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start in the kitchen since we were already here making dinner. Um, I do want to go ahead and introduce myself. I know we have a lot of new friends here. Hi, I'm Tammy. We, my husband and I have four children. We have a 16, 14, 12, and nine year old, three girls, one boy. We are, so we are a family of six. We are from the Midwest, Nebraska to be more specific. We've actually lived in Nebraska our whole lives until the summer of 2022 when we uh, packed everything up, sold our home and moved down to Florida. So we have lived in Central East Coast, Florida for, wow, it's been almost two years. It'll be two years in June. I cannot believe it. Time has just flown by. Um, anyway, we bought this cute little ranch here in Florida and we have just slowly been making it our own. We recently, or well, when we moved here, we redid the kitchen. It had all original cabinets, um, in like a pressed brown plywood cabinet style, if you will. <laughs> um, it's, it was a mess. You could tell that there was definitely... Um, some leaks that had happened over the years and whatnot. So we did tear out the whole entire kitchen. Um, we have slowly been working our way around the house. We added a fireplace this last um, Christmas. And yeah, we have some other things that we want to do. Um, we still need to really do the bedrooms and kind of make them their, our own. And then we also want to tackle the um, the main bathroom, which is the bathroom that my children use, which I do have plans on doing this year. So um, if pr house projects um, interest you, hit that subscribe button. If you are looking for cleaning motivation, um, decor inspiration, grocery hauls, all of the things, homemaking, this channel is definitely it for you and I hope you will stick around. The only way to start
old home was very much farmhousey vibes like that white and black buffalo check or buffalo plaid everywhere it's it is come here with us however I will say that a lot of my tastes are changing um, I am trying to find more like antique vintage pieces to decorate with instead of using things you know remanufactured farmhouse style items um we're not quite farmhouse anymore i kind of switched gears a little bit i don't really know what you would call it um not necessarily modern organic not necessarily farmhouse not necessarily western but all of the above as well like it's kind of just a mixture of things i've kind of learned over the years to you know, it, well, more so since we've moved here to do things the way I want them. When we originally moved here, I was like, I want everything light, bright, and airy. We live in Florida. It's sunshine state. You know, everything needs to be just bright all the time. And yeah, so I've definitely changed my mind on that. Um, I, I don't know. I love black furniture. I have loved black before it was popular and so um this house is is going to be our home for forever as far as i know i have no intentions of ever moving again because that was the most stressful situation you want to try your marriage guys sell your home of 10 years and move halfway across the country because i will tell you what i that was the most stressful thing ever and my husband was amazing through the entire thing. I know he was stressed. I was stressed uh, moving to a place that we have never lived. You know, it, it was a huge ordeal. But moving here, I have learned to make my home things that, you know, that I like. I not necessarily what's in style. I will, will say there are a lot of things that are in style that you will see in my home or in, not necessarily in style, in the in things. Um, but it's because I like them, not because they're in right now. Um, like I said, black, I have always, always loved black furniture. You will see that in my previous homes. And so when we moved here, like I said, I wanted things light, bright and airy, and that has changed. I was like, you know what, I'm throwing that out. Just because I live in Florida doesn't mean I need to have tropical vibes, bright, airy home. I want to make the home that I love coming into and spending time in. So you'll notice around my home, there's a lot of dark pieces, um, but I love it. And yeah, I, I don't know. I just want to be an inspiration to others to not necessarily do what others are doing, but make things the way you want them, the way you like them. You're the one that has to live in your home. And yeah, you know, you may like something for the time being, or you may like, you know, I don't know. Not everybody's home is, I guess, Instagram worthy, if you will. And that's okay. Do what you like and make your home yours. Why did she go home? Was I supposed to know that she'd leave? Was I the naive to think that she'd be the one? I don't know where I was going off on that little tangent, but yeah, I don't know. I guess I just felt like I needed to say it. Um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead. I just pulled out the wet vac for today. I absolutely love my v Bissell wet vac. I will say that I wish I would have bought the one that did not have a cord. Um, that one literally came out shortly after I bought this one and I was like you know what I already spent the money I'm not going to replace it it is what it is I will deal with the cord and it'll be okay but if you guys are ever looking for something just like a quick easy cleanup the Bissell wet pack is amazing I this is my opinion 100% my own um I I try to keep things as real as possible uh, even coming into this new year even just more real um I don't like, I like to keep things honest, real, you know, 
my own opinion. So anyway, this wet pack is amazing. I absolutely love it. It is so good in a quick pinch. Um, or, you know, honestly, just like on a day like today where I am just trying to just reset, refresh the house. So I, I just didn't want to go through and have to vacuum and mop. I'm just trying to kill two birds with one stone here. How is everybody handling the temperature drop? I know that most of the US is freezing right now. Um, I know back home it's been like negative temperatures and oh my goodness, I do not miss that. But I will tell you what, I am literally sitting in front of a heater right now while doing this voiceover because I am freezing. We had a, um, a wind chill advisory this morning. I the feel like temperature, I think it was like 31, 30, 31, somewhere around there when I woke up this morning at like six. I I'm like, what even is this? Like I live in Florida. Why are we having wind chill advisories? But the cold has definitely hit all around the US. And I like I said, I know that back home it's been in the negative temperatures like extreme negatives. I, I see cattle tanks freezing solid, you know, just all the things. And I, I am not a cold weather person. I love the summer, the sunshine, the warmth, um, all the things. So let me know how you guys are doing. Are you guys surviving the cold? Because I know it's a struggle bus down here. Uh, but it's so funny, you know, talking about the wind chill, it's so funny seen the advisory for that because it's like okay back home we wouldn't have been notified like it, it just is what it is but florida florida or floridians do not do not know cold they do not know true cold <laughs> but now that my blood's thinning out and we've been here down here a little bit and gotten a little bit acclimated it's definitely it's definitely chilly but i did not turn the furnace on uh, we do live in a brick home and the brick is doing its job and keeping things, you know, warm in here. Um, I, for the most part, I did just tell you that I was sitting in front of a heater because my toes are cold because we do have tile floor and I don't like shoes. So <laughs> the least that I have to wear shoes or socks or anything that is like, you know, keeping my toes and my feet inside of something i don't like it so even though it's cold outside i did wear sandals to take the kiddos to school the heat was on high though in the car the butt warmers were on and all the things but anyway yes i i just i don't know let me know what you guys' favorite season is be, be the same again Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I moved my cowhide from where it normally is. I still have it layered, obviously, over the bigger area rug, but I used to have it off more towards the corner where I'm vacuuming at right now. And I have noticed now that I've moved it more central into the into the area rug that it does not get near as dirty as it was getting before. I don't know if it's because it's just not in a in the actual walk zone 
of the living room, but it has really helped. So I am so thankful for that. I will say though, having the cowhide rug is so easy to take care of, just sweeping it. I, I kind of hate that I can't vacuum it, but it's not the end of the world. I still absolutely love my cowhide. I kind of want to get another one and put it under the dining room table. I haven't fully decided yet. And honestly, I would love if I do get one, I would love to go back to Texas and get one. Um, that's where this one came from. It came, we used to travel all the time, you guys. If you guys are new here, um, we, we would travel to multiple places all year long. I absolutely love traveling and going to new places. And one of the places we had went was uh, Fort, Dallas Fort Worth area um, in Texas. And we went to the Fort Worth Stockyards, which is where my cowhide is from. Um, I will say that I absolutely miss traveling. We have not traveled since being here in Florida. And I miss it so much. Um, we, you know, we've just kind of gone around the area. I think we've we've gone over to Tampa, the Clearwater area, um, since being here. And we've gone to, you know, like St. Augustine, Cocoa Beach, you know, Orlando. Basically all the places that are with an hour or two drive from us. So... I am really getting a travel bug though and I told my husband I was like you know what we should all kids included put like places in a hat that we want to go to that's within driving distance um driving distance is really anything for us though realistically because we've driven to Florida I don't even know how many times before we moved here um and everywhere else we've ever traveled has always been by car uh we have flown to florida a couple times and i actually prefer that <laughs> uh, who doesn't who wants to spend two days on the road but anyway so we're trying to decide we thought about putting um places in a hat and having everybody draw and then the last one that is in the hat is where we go but i don't know y'all have to let me know places that you guys have vacation to that's kind of in the general vicinity of you Florida. Proved me wrong, I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. So while I was cleaning, um, I heard a big crash and unfortunately it looks like my daughter's shelf fell that had all her books on it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all cleaned up for her and we're going to try to figure out what we're going to do. Um, yeah, since we lost the shelf. So let's go ahead and get this cleaned up. I wanted to give up cause nothing was changing. But with you it's so clear and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah you, you're making me wanna try for so you guys typically don't see this room and that's because it is my teen daughter's room. I try to keep their privacy, um, but I felt really bad when I text my daughter and let her know that her shelf, shelf fell. She was like, really, what else can go wrong today? She was having a really bad day and I... I just felt really bad. So I was like, okay, do you care if I film? Can I post it? And you know, it's fine. So I just kind of kept to her space in the room. Um, 
Like I said, we do have three daughters. We have a three bedroom house, so things are a little bit tight. Uh, so they do all three share a room. They all have their own little area of the room and it works out, so no worries there. I, I mean, heck, I shared a room growing up. I literally shared my bed with my sister. So I don't think it's a big deal. And honestly, when they were younger, they wanted to share rooms. So it's, it's, it is what it is. But anyway, so I, I thought, you know, since she was having such a bad day, I would go in and just clean everything up for her kind of the best that I could. I didn't want to really go through anything. Um, but I thought if I could just get the, the, the books and everything else picked up that fell unfortunately she lost one of her softball trophies if you guys don't know she played travel ball for like six or seven maybe eight years let's i can't even remember how many years but literal years guys and she just recently quit um the move the team that she was playing on it just was not uh, we thought it was a good fit. Other things happened within the team and she just wasn't getting the playtime that she deserved. Um, there was a lot of politics in it and it was, yeah, it, it was a whole, that's a whole nother ball game, long story. But anyway, unfortunately her trophy fell and broke from her last tournament that they won. And I don't know, it, she lost a candle that our friend gave her for Christmas. It was a huge ordeal, and I just felt so incredibly bad. I will say that the shelf was hung with drywall screws. Initially, I was like, oh, we needed drywall screws. We didn't put any in when we hung that. You can't hang put that much. No, no, there was definitely drywall screws, so I don't know what happened to cause them to give out. Uh, she had a lot of books stacked up there. She is an avid reader. And so I have a feeling it just, it just was too much. So we're going to definitely have to figure something else out. Maybe this summer we can tackle their room and just give them a whole makeover. And I definitely have some ideas brewing in my head of like how I can go in and give them bookshelves. That's a little bit more functional than like this, um, cube shelf that they have right now. So we'll see. I'm not hundred percent sure exactly what we're going to do, but for now, I just, I just wanted to get everything cleaned up and tidied up for her. And I will tell you when she got home this day, she, she cried. I think as a mixture of, you know, losing her trophy and some other things, and then just the rough day that she was having <laughs> and then, you know, coming home and seeing oh my gosh i'm like it makes me want to choke up just talking about it but and just seeing you know mom got you it's okay it's okay we'll figure it out we'll take care of it you know what i mean so yeah anyway <laughs> i don't know why i'm choking up you guys anything that deals with my kids and them getting sad it just breaks my heart and so yeah, your girl's an emotional girl. <laughs> I'm a wreck. <laughs> Everybody makes mistakes Because no one can be perfect It was just one kiss, but that don't justify it I know what I did was wrong But it's like, I did it just to spite you Because all we ever do is fight Oh, and I really think it's time we say goodbye Baby, I'm too fed up with us I can't take no more screaming Hurting each other's feelings Baby, I'm just too tired to talk And you don't wanna listen 
it's better we leave it all behind. It hasn't always been like this. Remember when we were in love? Alrighty guys, after a long day of cleaning, it is time to eat dinner and just relax the rest of the night. So I'm just going to go ahead, um, get the meat and the veggies out of the crock pot, and then we're going to make some gravy to pour over the top of it. But anyway, I hope this video was motivational, helpful for you guys. Um, I really appreciate every single one of you for being here, for watching my videos, for subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting, all the things that you guys do that just has helped my channel grow. I truly, truly appreciate all of it. So anyway, guys, I hope you all stay happy, healthy, and safe. And I hope this new year is doing well for you guys. I hope I hope the U.S. starts to thaw and you all can get some warmer weather coming your way. So anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead, like I said, and just finish up dinner. And that'll be it for today's video. I cannot wait for you guys to come back and see the next video. We are decorating for Valentine's Day. It's just a light decorating, but we'll do a little bit of cleaning as well. So I hope you guys will all stick around for that. Um, anyway, guys, I hope to see you in the next one, and I hope you all stay happy, healthy, and safe. And until then, bye, guys. I can't take no more screaming, hurting each other's feelings. Baby, I'm just too tired to talk, and you don't want to listen. It's better we leave it all behind. If I had a boat, I would sail out Take every brother and sister of mine We'd row in the sunshine and sleep when it's dark Hoping to find somewhere we can calm But it's black, yeah it's black Oh the water's black Cause it's black, it's all black Be biting it well But my house is on fire There's no one left to tell Just take what is given The doors have been sealed Just breathe in the poison And hope God is real I'll pick you violet flowers If I get there faster than you I'll pick you violet flowers If I get there faster than you it's mad, yeah it's mad Oh the whole world's mad Cause it's mad, it's all mad It's mad out there mm -hmm. Cause it's black, yeah it's black Oh the water's black Cause it's black
Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier, or welcome if you are new. If you are new, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button, come along and join my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful that you decided to click on today's video. We have a lot to get done in this bathroom. It has been a hot minute, and as you can see, it's kind of dirty, <laughs> um, especially the drawers. So I want to go through, clean out the drawers of the vanity, wipe it all down, get it all clean, get it all decluttered, and then reorganize it. So it's been a minute, so let's go ahead, get your flip back around, and get this video started. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start by getting these lights dusted. I love to use my Swiffer wand for things. I, if you, okay, so tip from Tammy, if you are using your Swiffer, make sure when you put a new, like the little fabric part, when you put a new one on your wand, make sure you give it a good shake and get those fibers open up. So that way they're grabbing all that dust and hair and lint and everything that is built up on the surface uh, before going in with your cleaning spray. Trust me, it works so much better. Um, I actually got this tip from someone else. Who did I get this tip from? I cannot honestly remember. I wish I could uh, to give them credit. But, you know, sometimes some things are just not so obvious to people. So if you didn't know, if you were like me and you didn't know that you should, like, give it a good shake and open those fibers up, now you do. So anyway, we're going to move on to the sink. I will tell you what, we have some incredibly hard water here in Florida. Someday I would really like to get a whole house filter system and help with that. But for now, we just go and tackle it with our cleaning products. I will say that normally I use the kitchen and bath CLR and the yellow bottle. However, I was out of it. So I pulled out the pink stuff. I was a little concerned that it might scratch my faucet, but you guys, it did an amazing job using this little Rubbermaid tool. I absolutely love the pink stuff, especially when you're just needing to get in those nitty gritty areas and just getting things cleaned out. This tool is really helpful too, um, especially for those of us. So I have carpal tunnel and sometimes my hands and stuff work hurt a little bit more than other days like it just kind of depends on the day it varies you know what I mean uh so anyway sometimes I can't just use a sponge or a scrubby and use my fingers um to scrub things out and so this little rubber made tool is absolutely amazing and it really helps get things down in the little tight spaces when I can't always get to them whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like, why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store, I think I'd have it all, tell you why I've been more. Picking the plate, being a plate, she is unruly. Never seen her like this, didn't think it existed, no truly. Don't get in her way, she's not in a place, she'll get moody. But don't mistake this girl for being me. Cause these are dream rules This is someone else I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules This is someone else I'm not myself, no, no Moving on to the drawers, as you can see, there's a lot of hair built up in them. I don't know if I leave this open. Honestly, I've never paid attention while doing my hair in the morning if I leave this drawer open or not. Like, I feel like I close it, but I don't know how much hair gets, how all that hair gets inside these drawers, but it, these drawers are definitely a collector of my hair and other debris that, yeah. So anyway, we're going to go ahead, just get everything cleaned out of here, get them all vacuumed out, get all that hair vacuumed out of there. And then we're going to go ahead and wipe them down and just reorganize everything in there. It definitely needs it. Um, I don't honestly even know how long it's been. It's, pr I would like to say that I need to do this probably once a week quite honestly but it's probably been about a month since the last time I did this but don't mistake this girl for being me cause these are dream rules this is someone else I'm not myself no no mm -hmm. cause these are dream rules this is someone i 
was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby Moving on to... The next problem area of my bathroom is this shelf. Now, I will tell you what. Picking out this vanity, your girl wasn't thinking. I, I thought it was a cute vanity. I loved the idea of the open shelf on the bottom. And I wasn't thinking about the fact that my house has, like, no storage anywhere. So, I needed a storage spot. So, I chose the next best thing. Um, instead of having, you know, the open shelf and just sitting everything on the shelf looking so cluttered i picked up some baskets now i did get these baskets at target i will say that i wish they were a little bit taller to hide the clutter and all my items a little bit better but it's okay so anyway though they are working out great right now i do like to store you know some of the extra towels and the toilet paper and my hair stuff um in them um, you'll see in the other basket, I do have a little bit of more of a buildup of products or items and I do end up going through and decluttering a lot of those items things that I've had around for quite some time that I'm just not going to use um, you can either you know throw the things out if they're expired or if they're if they've been used but if they haven't been used definitely consider donating them to like a woman's shelter or maybe even keeping um, we have a lot of homeless um, near us so if you know, keeping little baggies of cleaning, soap, hair products, stuff like that um, in your car. And then if you see somebody that might need something, you know, to give it to them or something like that. So that's what I was kind of doing. I was just cleaning out the items that I know that I won't be using. It's just kind of some leftover like shampoo. Um, and then I think there was like some face products and stuff like that that I've never used and that I won't be using. So I just throw them in the bag so that way I can donate them and I know that somebody else can definitely get use out of them. Moving on to the toilet. Now, so tip from Tammy, before you even start cleaning the outside of the toilet, put some of your clocks or your Lysol or whatever you use your cleaner inside the bowl before starting on the rest of the toilet that way it has time to break down anything that is built up inside of there um we get a lot of that like orange i don't know if it's mold mildew what it is but that orange buildup from the toilet it's not rust but you know what I'm talking about, y'all know. Uh, but anyway, it gets built up in the toilet. I try to clean the toilet bowl itself out weekly. Um, probably, maybe should do it more often than that since we do get that build up. But anyway, that way this cleaner can have time to go in, break all that up while I'm cleaning the outside. So I do usually like to go in with like a duster, like the Swiffer duster that I just used um, on the lights. It's a throwaway duster, so I can easily, you know, wipe down the toilet. It's not a big deal and just throw it away. Um, but dusting your toilet or really any surface before you go and put your spray on them definitely helps clean better or easier. It makes the process much easier. And I really wish that I had done that on the, in this video today because your girl was on the struggle bus with my hair. Like I could not, I, I failed to remember to dust it first and then going in with the Clorox wipes, I was having a heck of a time trying to get the hair off. So definitely do as I say, not as I do. Isn't that what we tell our kids? I don't know. Or honestly, I don't even know that I tell my kids that, but I remember my mom always telling me that. So yeah. Uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get more of this hair vacuumed up because your girl is a shedder. 
But anyway, did you know, so side note, did you know on average a person loses about 100 hairs a day? If you didn't know that, now you do. Um, you know, it's a learning lesson today in Tammy's video. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and just get everything else tidied up. We're going to, I think the washer is done with the mats and the shower curtain. So we're going to go ahead and move on and get the towels all washed and freshened up so that way we can finish cleaning and then I also have another little bit of an organizing project I guess if you will If you're anything like me and you go to open the dryer and you're like oh shoot there's already clothes in there we gotta fold those so i am trying to keep things as real as possible around here i have always stuck by that you know just keeping things real in my videos and this is another real life moment so uh yeah i totally forgot that i had put my clothes in there the night before to dry and i did not take them back out so we gotta fold these before we can dry the the shower curtain and the rugs and i will say that nine times out of ten i don't always dry the shower curtain a lot of times i will just hang it up wet and let it air dry that really helps prevent it from like shrinking or getting uh deformed because you know sometimes when you dry things it sh not only shrinks it but it also makes like the edges I don't know crinkle or not look as good as they usually do so most often you will see me hanging my shower curtain fresh out of the washer and i will say that it actually makes the bathroom smell really good too but so anyway also we are now moving back into the bathroom we are moving right along here guys i actually noticed this is some surface mold that i noticed under our towels I, I don't know, mold grows everywhere down here in Florida. Uh, for those of you that don't live here, mold and rust are like a real problem here. <laughs> and it is taking some time getting used to things like that. Um, so this mold is actually from our towels after we dry off and hanging them on their hooks. They are causing a mold to grow on the grout and I have never had this problem before. This is something that just recently happened to us. And so I just wanted to get it cleaned up. But now I'm like, I don't know what to do. So we're going to probably have to change out those hooks and find a different way to hang our towels that is not, you know, that is more, I guess, flowy and not right up against the wall. So if you guys have any tips or tricks for me on that or any ideas, I would greatly appreciate that because I don't want any more mold growing. <laughs> um, but anyway, since I had already needed to clean that mold off, I decided it was a good time to go ahead and just pull out the mop and mop the walls because they needed them um i also wanted to get the spray cleaned up off the wall and so i thought why not two birds with one stone I really love this O Cedar mop. It's the O Cedar Spin Mop. I know they do have the new one out where it has the two different um, buckets in it, so you're you're not sticking your clean mop back in dirty water. Um, I don't know. Um, I've heard good and bad things about that, but uh, another thing I like is that the the mop head comes off very easily. You can throw it in the wash, bleach it, do all the things. Um, and then they're pretty affordable to replace as well. So I will wash it a few times. And then eventually when I can tell that it, the color is just, 
it's not coming clean or it doesn't look clean anymore, then I will go ahead and replace it. So I do like to mop my walls. It makes it super easy to mop your walls. And then just moving down from, again, top to bottom as you're cleaning, um, moving right into like baseboards if you have them. It just really gets in all the grooves and it makes it super easy. So if you do not have an Osteen or mop, definitely go get you one because I absolutely love mine. And I admit it felt so tough But baby, I guess this is how it's meant to be I'm a buy, I'm a buy, plane ticket Run away to LA for I also decided on this day, this is not something that I normally do, but after mopping, I did feel like I just needed to go in and do a steam clean. That way I know things are just super clean, spick and span. Um, I don't know. I just felt like it just needed just an extra touch today. So usually in my mop bucket, I have um, like a Fabuloso or uh, Pine Sol and then some extremely hot water. Um, but yeah, so I just decided that I wanted to steam mop it as well. Alrighty, yeah. So now that we are all clean, I'm just fit waiting for the uh rugs and towels and shower curtain all to finish up i do want to put together and i am sorry sorry if this is echoing because i can hear it and i'm sorry but i wanted to put together this rotating shelf um or this little like organizing shelf i thought it would be fun to have i know you guys know like before um i had a uh, diffuser in here i did have to buy a new one because my old one broke it's just this little guy i think he's kind of cute and he comes in a, well, it <laughs> um, comes in a variety of color options, like lighting wise, but I thought it would be fun to put it on top of this shelf and then on the bottom tier, put all my little, um, what are they called? Oils, uh, my essential oils. So that way they're all in one spot because right now they're just taking up a space in my drawer in my dresser so i'm gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead and put this together and then set this all up and get it all ready to go put it up there and see how it turns out Once I got this built and put together, one, it was super easy to put together. Um, two, I it's actually really good quality. I did find it on Amazon. I, again, definitely check out my storefront if you're ever looking for anything in my videos. Um, it doesn't cost you any extra, but it does give me a little bit of a kickback uh, when you purchase things through my storefront so anyway i do want to though say that i absolutely love this little stand i wish it was just a smidge smaller and i wish my diffuser was a smidge bigger but it's okay they both work great for what i needed them to and i absolutely love now having my oils right there right next to my diffuser so when I need them I can just grab them. I will say though um, I do not use faucet water for my diffuser. I actually get the fridge water uh, since it is filtered and that way you know we're not putting that that hard water through my diffuser which will eventually clog everything up um my old diffuser i don't know what went wrong with it but it stopped working so i was really sad but i am glad to have my diffuser again i use a variety of oils um this one that you just i just showed you i actually got that in disney springs there's a little shop um over there that sells a bunch of different things including essential oils but you can get those online i think but they smell amazing and there's actually one um i've never actually been to disney world but anyway there's one in there that smells apparently like the haunted mansion and it smells fabulous i absolutely love it so i do have one of those but um i also use other ones i cannot think of what plant 
plants not plant city that is a town here in florida but anyway i'm sure you essential oil oil diffusing people know where i'm coming from i i'm actually more of a candle person i like scents being thrown from candles but i am scared to death to put a candle in my bathroom where i cannot watch it all the time so that's why i like using diffusers in the bathroom you know you don't have that open flame they have sensors so once they are out of water they shut off um most of them at least the ones that i have do um i also oh that i also use aromi oils it's a-i-r-o-m-e i think it is um, which i absolutely love those as well but anyway it's time to get everything just kind of finished up put back together so it is that time of the video where i'm going to ask you to put a thumbs up on the video if you liked it if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button make sure you come back for some more cleaning motivation i do have um decorating coming up for valentine's day i can't wait to share that with y'all so anyway i hope you all stay happy healthy and safe i hope this was motivational for you and we will see you in the next one bye guys Love is like a roller coaster, but I'm trying to hold on. I don't want it to stop. Even though we fight sometimes and it feels like a war zone, I still care about us. How do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head. Don't know how to cope with being so broken Girl, I can't forget about what we said I just wanna love you a little bit more Don't just walk away from me and close the door Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier. Thank you so much for being here today and clicking on my video. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you haven't done so already. It definitely means the absolute world to me when you guys subscribe and you know, just support my channel. So I truly appreciate it. Also leave me a comment, share with your friends, hit that thumbs up button. It all lets the YouTube algorithm know that you guys like what I am putting out. So I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, today, like the title says, we're cleaning. <laughs> we have some tidying up to do. It is back to the grind of the week. For you guys, it's the middle of the week. Um, but I would just like to get my house kind of just put back together, get it cleaned up. There's a few um, things that I need to focus on or give a little bit more attention to. So we're going to get all that done today. Um, first off though, I did wake up and forget that I had laundry in the wash and in the dryer. So we're getting that switched over and folded and we'll go ahead and get my hubby's laundry put away. A way to get you out of my head Don't know how to cope with being so broken Girl, I can't forget about what you said I just wanna love you a little bit more Don't just walk away from me and close the door Baby, pull me closer now you know, it's funny, I saw a meme the other day, it was a Midwest meme that basically said, you know, when you go from negative temps to 30 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, you know, warm, um, <laughs> that basically it is warm. And it's so funny because I remember living in the Midwest, it was, it, it's so crazy because you get so used to that bitter cold that when it gets to 40, even 50 degrees, it's like, whoa, we're having a huge heat wave. Like, what is this? You know, 
And now that I live in Florida, it's like we freeze at 40 and 50 degrees. You guys, the wind chill the other day was like, I think it was 25 degrees, I think is what we got down to. And I was freezing. We actually, we turned on the furnace because even the house was getting kind of cold. Uh, we typically keep the furnace at like 70 if we turn it on and then the air is usually around 76, 78. And so the house was down to 65 degrees and I was so cold. I could not do anything to warm my body up. So we definitely turned the furnace on. So I'm curious to know if you guys think, you know, for those of you Northerners that are used to that bitter cold, what you guys think of when it starts to get to the 40s and 50s? Are you guys warming up? Like, does it feel warm to you? Because I I definitely remember those days. I'm a little messed up, but it's time for me to be dropping down my defense. I realize I wasn't there for real, what I did didn't make any sense. How can I get you close, I see why you'd be so cold, but you need to forget everything that I've told you, cause I Alrighty guys, so I'm sure you're wondering what I'm doing, but I know you guys have heard me talk about this for quite a while, that we're going to be redoing this room. Well, I came across um, another influencer using wall blush, which is a peel and stick wallpaper. Um, it's Kristen, it's Kristen Casper. If you don't follow her, definitely check her out. I absolutely love her. Um, but anyway, she has used wall blush in a mini of her videos. I've seen her do, um, bedrooms. I saw her do her camper. And most recently I saw her do a wall in her kitchen area, kitchen slash, it's like a open floor plan. So it's like kitchen, living room, dining kind of area. But Anyway, so Wall Blush is having a sample sale and I came across this pattern and I absolutely love it. Um, it's this pattern here. This is the Anna pattern. So this would be the whole pattern on the wall. And then this part of it is actually this tiny little piece right there cut out. Um, this was initially what I saw. I was like, okay, I absolutely love this. I think it would be perfect. Um, in here, I'm not really wanting to paint the whole room, so I want something that's kind of going to go with the alabaster that we have. But then, when I ordered the this one, this is called Anna, and it's white, and then I came across this one, which is also Anna, but it's tan. Um, if you, Yes, so it says Anna tan right there. Um, I love the neutral colors in this. I think it is absolutely beautiful. It is not what I originally had planned for this room, but I absolutely love it. So I need to know your guys' opinion. Do I go with tan or do I go with the white that's over there? I am not sure. I did separate them to kind of get a better idea of what I think I would like. Uh, you guys, I'm not 100% sure what I want to do. I I just know that I love the colors. So you guys are going to have to help me out here. What, what do I do? Do I go with the white or do I go with the tan? What do you guys think? I'm going to keep the bed the same color that they it is. Um, all the furniture is going to stay this dark. Uh, I don't know what color it really is, but it's a dark wood. So you guys are going to have to let me know what you think. Should we do white or tan? Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I am a little nervous because our wall is textured, but it, everything that I've read says it does stick to textured walls. So I would really like to give it a try. It is kind of pricey um, because it is a small company, but I am super excited. So you guys are going to have to let me know if you guys have ever worked with um, peel and stick wallpaper. 
Um, you know, give me all your tips and tricks. And also let me know down in the comments which one you think fits the room better. I will be getting new bedding. So that will be changing possibly a new rug. I'm hoping a new rug because this one... Uh, you know my troubles with this one if you guys have been around but you guys are gonna have to let me know so anyway let's go ahead we got the bedroom kind of tidied up here we got clothes in the dryer let's go ahead move on to the kitchen and get cleaning in there and as you can see this is not the kitchen uh it is the bathroom <laughs> I forgot that I had wanted to go ahead and go in the bathroom and just kind of clean things up a little bit. This is more of like my daily routine in the bathroom, you know, cleaning the toilet, wiping the surfaces and starting the diffuser. I absolutely love having things just smell so good. Um, so I, I usually burn candles, but I don't burn candles where I can't keep an eye on them regularly. So I love putting the diffuser in the bathrooms. Um, right now I am like really loving, uh, it's uh, a few drops of patchouli. I think that's the correct way to pronounce it. Don't go, don't come for me if it's wrong. Um, and then a couple of drops of orange and then like half the amount of drops of cinnamon. It smells so good and I absolutely love it. I also love to diffuse, um, like a mixture of eucalyptus tea tree and peppermints. Uh, it, it just smells so good and I absolutely love just the freshness of it, especially for the bathroom. All my friends say, honey, just let him be. Now your perfume's stuck in my shirt. And there's an ember left in my bed. I don't know about you, but put you first. I bought some new flowers. I just want your time I just want your time Your time, oh, oh, time I need your time 3, 6, 5, 24, 7, I'll be fine As long as you spend a little time I do want to share a few video ideas that we have coming up with you. So we are doing, you know, some motivational cleaning, of course. Those will always be on my channel. I love motivating you guys um, with my cleaning. It also helps motivate me knowing that I want to motivate you. And then we also have a huge makeover we are doing and I cannot be more excited. Yes, I've been promising a bedroom makeover. It is not the master bedroom though it is another bedroom and I cannot wait to share it with you guys it will be a two-part series so I hope you guys will come back for that um yes I I cannot wait we are picking up the pieces for it tonight and we've ordered some things off of Amazon that has arrived and again I just am so excited I cannot wait for you guys to see this and to share the or well to share it with you guys but also just to get it done um it is for whatever reason the bedrooms were put off um when we moved here we focused our main attention to the kitchen because that was our biggest project and then you know we've just kind of been slowly doing other things smaller things outside things uh we worked on the living room and stuff like that we still have to just fully you know, personalize the bedrooms and uh, the, our main bathroom. And I cannot wait, but the next step is going to be a bedroom makeover. So I hope you guys will subscribe and come back and see it. Oh, I cannot wait. I am so excited to do this. Sometimes I get a bit emotional. 
Uh, being in the kitchen here, it just kind of had me thinking I needed to declutter some things. And I know, you know, the new year is here. And I, I think, you know, just having a new year, the new, new everything, that everything is just new. And I think it really motivates people to be a new you, to, you know, to not only change your healthy habits and lifestyle and stuff, but also to change things in your home. Um, you know, whether that's like organizing, decluttering, stuff like that. So of course, I'm like everybody else. <laughs> um, we will be doing a declutter as well. I have kind of gone on Pinterest actually to kind of get some help with um, ideas of places to declutter or to make things easier around my home. And I, I think I've put together uh, actually a pretty good list of areas that I want to declutter. And I'm definitely going to be sharing that with you guys to give you guys the tips that you need to help declutter your homes. I... I tend to get very um, anxious, I guess, if you will, uh, when there is a lot of clutter, when there's a lot of things. And I know it may look like I have a lot of things, and I do, but I can't, I don't know, I, I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. But anyway, my point being is that I do have a video that will be coming out with uh, decluttering tips and tricks. And we're going to be going through all the kitchen cupboards, um, bedroom closets, all the things and just decluttering our life. I think that would be incredibly helpful. I know it is something that has helped me in the past uh, watching videos like that. So I'm hoping that it'll help inspire you guys also to help declutter your homes for the new year. Um, I also have a grocery haul coming up this week that I cannot wait to share with you guys. I have a question though. I am curious, where are you guys wanting to do the shopping at? Right now, I have been doing, you know, the BJ's wholesale. Um, I know I've done Sam's in the past. I like Sam's, but it's so far away from me um, that it, it just kind of makes it hard to get out that way. Like my stuff is like half thawed by the time it gets home. Um, but I've also been doing some shopping at Walmart. We also have like Publix that is local to us. I know Publix is not everywhere. I'm definitely thinking about trying the Kroger delivery. I don't know. Have you guys used that yet? Back in Nebraska, we had Baker's, which is part of the Kroger umbrella. And I absolutely love Baker's and I miss it so much. Um, I did all my grocery shopping there back home and I definitely miss it. So I think I want to try the Baker or the Kroger delivery delivery. If you guys have tried it, can you let me know down in the comments what you thought of it? Um, yeah, so I don't know. Where are some other places that you guys are doing your grocery shopping? I know Aldi is another one too. Unfortunately, Aldi is not very close to us either. It's a good, I think like 30 minutes away. So anyway, y'all have to let me know what kind of grocery stores you are wanting to see me do grocery hauls at. I wish I could make you stop Cause baby I love you Guess I'm gonna dance alone tonight I'm gonna miss your body You know I can never get it right Without you, no I don't wanna step into the light If I don't get you shoddy You bring out the sweetness of my life Alrighty, so my husband's birthday is coming up and I thought I would show you what he is getting because I need to wrap it real quick. <laughs> um, so if you guys are here, go ahead and throw some comments down in the, the or throw some happy birthdays down in the comments if you would. Um, but anyway, my husband is a huge, huge diehard Lions fan. And if you guys know anything about football, right now they are headed to the um, NFC Championships, which is so exciting um, for his team. I'm a personal, personally, I'm a Chiefs fan, but you know, it's, it's all good. <laughs> um, I would love to see a Lions Chief game uh, for the Super Bowl, but we will see what happens. Get a rematch, um, you know, from the first game where they beat the Chiefs, you guys, um, to the final game of the season. I would absolutely love that. But anyway, um, let me go ahead and show you what he got for his birthday or what we're getting him for his birthday. So this is a um, Detroit Lions Chiefs hat. It is just a uh, normal snapback. He doesn't have anything like this. 
Um, my daughter actually, one of my daughters, I should say, um, helped pick this out. She really liked it. I will be honest, I thought that this was gray. I did not read that it was cream, um, but that's okay. Hopefully he will still like it. And then next up is this Detroit Lions t-shirt. This is the NFC North Championships because they are NFC North. They took the NFC North this year for 2023. I will go ahead. I don't want to open this, but I will put a picture up on the screen for you guys so you can see what the full thing looks like. But we're going to go ahead. Um, this is the box that came in. And since I don't want to squish the hat, we're going to go ahead and leave it in this box. Um, we'll go ahead and tape it up and get it wrapped up and ready for his birthday. I am so excited for him to open this. Like I said, my husband's birthday is coming up. I cannot wait for him to open his gift. Um, I, didn't, I cannot wait to see the next game. Oh my goodness, you guys. I thought he was going to cry the other day when, um, when they beat the Buccaneers. It is so exciting to see the Lions just make these strides and just push so far uh we are huge football fans if you cannot tell we absolutely love football we love our huskers back home and then like i said uh, i'm a chiefs girl i've been a chiefs girl before the big um the the uh winning <laughs> that's been going on with Mahomes and stuff but i absolutely i don't know i i am a royals girl too I feel like they kind of go hand in hand, Royals and Chiefs, but um, anyway, and then obviously Hubby is a huge Detroit fan, and he has been a Detroit fan since he was like eight years old, you guys. This is not a new thing for him. This is not a bandwagon for him. He is a true diehard fan, and so I, I really just want to see see the lions go all the way you guys are gonna have to let me know who your guys teams are um but also what are the kind of things that you guys do for birthdays so for us um we will take my husband out to dinner uh usually it's a dinner of your choice sometimes we go all out um a few examples of places we've been to pf chang's and then you know, as far as expensive, we've gone all the way to P.F. Chang's and then all the way down to like Chick-fil-A or Popeye's. I'm pretty sure my husband's going to choose Popeye's for his birthday dinner. He loves Popeye's fried chicken. Uh, so I, I think he's done churches chicken in the past. I don't know that we have a church's local. Um, I know that he actually, oh, there's another one that he prefers and I cannot think of the name of it, but it's a little bit farther away from us. Um, it's about a 45 minute drive, so I don't know if he'll choose to go there or not, but I'm excited to see what he chooses for his birthday dinner. And then we do a, just a little gift, but oh, I also, side note, this little <laughs> clip of Miko, he is so cute. The cats absolutely love going out in our lanai. They just love getting that fresh air. And as soon as that door unlocks, they come running. It is so funny. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to stop them as soon as I opened that screen door to clean the glass door. But anyway, um, back to birthdays. Yes, just I'm just curious of what you guys do for birthdays. We used to go really big um, with birthday parties and stuff like that. But then, you know, family started passing. People stopped talking to each other and birthday parties just didn't seem like it was a like I don't know <laughs> worth having I guess and so we stopped having birthdays plus we moved down here to Florida and realistically we have no family down here other than my dad is here six months of the year so anyway I don't know birthdays are definitely not as big as they used to be I definitely miss having big celebrations I do try to make my kids feel as special as possible on their birthdays because my mom always was very big on that for my birthday so Anyway, now we're going to go ahead and move on to getting this wall cleaned. I absolutely love this wall. I did do it myself. If you guys have not seen that video, definitely check it out because uh, there wasn't as many of you <laughs> following me as there are now when I did this. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this wall cleaned up because it is awfully dusty. Bye, bye, bye. I don't want to talk before the moment slowly zips away. Oh, 
So I did decide, if you guys haven't seen my Valentine's Decorate With Me, definitely check that out. It was my last video, I think, if I remember correctly. I said I wasn't going to use the Valentine's Day table runner, but I changed my mind and I did decide to go ahead and um, open it up and put it on the table. And I'm glad I did. It is just so pretty. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It absolutely, again, means the world to me. Uh, when you guys like and comment on my videos and when you share them. But anyway, until next time, I hope you all stay happy, healthy, and safe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds. Cause without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you When you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly I don't need anybody, I don't need anybody else No one will ever take me, no one will ever take me away from you I promise I will hold on to you I don't know what I'd do without you Without you can take me high. Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We have some decorating to get done, you guys. Valentine's will be here before we know it in just a few weeks. This year is already starting to fly by and I just can't believe how fast it is going. So I did already do a quick little tidy up, but now, now we're getting down to the fun stuff and we're gonna go ahead and decorate for Valentine's Day. Let me give you a brief reminder of what I do have to decorate with. If you haven't seen at my Shop With Me at Home Goods, Definitely go check that out. Both are great options if you are looking to see what these stores have without actually having to go to the store. Leave that job up to me. But anyway, let me go ahead and show you what I got. I did purchase um, some pink candles that I will be using. They are not scented, but they are so pretty. I just thought they would be perfect. I have a few different wooden hearts here that I'm going to be decorating with as well. I actually got these last year at Ross. Um, I cannot remember the price on them, but I have not yet seen them this year, so I'm definitely glad I have them from last year. And then these two hearts came from Home Goods this year, so you can definitely still find these, I'm sure of it. I just love the little floral design on that smaller heart there. I thought it was super sweet. I have a couple of different um, garland options. I have these wood beads here that have the little hearts on them. And then I have these hearts here. They say they're glass, but I'm thinking they're more of like a clay. 
um, or porcelain, but they are so cute with their little floral designs on them. Both came from Home Goods. I also picked up some, well, not necessarily picked up, but I ordered some really pretty pink um, cattails. I found these on Amazon. If you are ever looking for dried florals, Amazon is the place to go. They have pretty much anything and everything you could literally be asking for as far as dried florals go and I don't feel like they're terribly expensive um I am hoping that these will stay up for the season uh for the February <laughs> Valentine's Day uh decor season I should say because I know that my cats do like to eat these so hopefully they'll make it alrighty and then I also have a few blankets I have this one and I have, oh, I'm stuck. And then I have this beautiful one. You can see it's got some like floral designs on it. And then I also have this table runner here. I thought it would be really pretty. I haven't decided where I'm going to use this yet, if I'm gonna use it in its traditional sense or if I'm gonna change it up a little bit. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started on the decorating. Yeah. was all about that song had already been sung I was going on still minding my own business never knew the life had just begun you came into my life like a sweet embrace swept me off my feet and made me whole again screw in some little hooks that I found on Amazon. They're just little screw in hooks. They come in a variety of colors. I figured the brass ones would, um, you know, blend in the best. I mean, honestly, they're just tiny. I was going to try to get one in here in the middle, but I can't get it to hook in there. So we're going to have to find another way to do that. But let's go ahead. I'm going to hang one of these and then one of these ones in there as well and kind of see. I might end up doing two. I might change it all together and I might end up doing two. I might change it all together and do like one and one and then come over here to the fireplace and maybe do one. I haven't fully decided. I might mix it all together over here and put them on the fireplace. So let's go ahead and see what we can figure out and kind of go from there. Sweat me off my feet and made me whole again. You came in my life. I want to see your face Never will I be Be the same again Never will I be Be the same again Love. 
sold on that I kind of feel like it needs to but <laughs> like I said I can't get um, a hook in here I might I don't know I might have to figure out if I can get a better hook in there but anyway I feel like it really needs to but the unfortunate thing of that then it takes away from what I wanted to put on the fireplace but I don't know Let's go ahead and put the candles in the other decor up here that I'm going to use and kind of go from there and see if that helps bring it all together. And then we'll go from there. I, I did for now hook it here on the candlestick. I do not want to leave it on the candlestick, but I'm just trying to get an idea of what it's going to look like. So for now, that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and put the candles in and put the other decor up here and see if that helps change anything. Cause no one can be perfect It was just one kiss But that don't justify it I know what I did was wrong But it's like I did it just to spite you Because all we ever do is fight Oh and I Really think it's time we say goodbye Baby I'm too fed up with us can't take no more screaming Hurting each other's feelings Baby, I'm just too tired to talk And you don't wanna listen It's better we leave it all behind Hasn't always been like this Remember when we were in love You were always there for me And we could talk for hours I don't know what happened to us Oh, cause we bring each other down right now And I don't even know why You know I really think it's time we say goodbye Baby, I'm too fed up with us I can't take no more screaming Hurting each other's feelings Baby, I'm just too tired to talk And you don't wanna listen It's better we leave it all behind See me 
walking out the door It's better this way, you know this ain't working anymore It's something that we should have done a long time ago You know I think we should say goodbye Maybe I'm too bad at talk with us I can't take no more screaming Hurting each other's feelings Baby, I'm just too tired to talk And you don't wanna listen It's better we leave it all behind song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting but then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken cause you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby Alrighty, as you saw, I broke the candles <laughs> It's okay Um, I, will, I made it work Um, I need to just move that one out just a smidge though I think there Does that kind of even them out a little bit? I might have moved it a little bit too far But, um I broke them. It's okay. Uh, they were fairly cheap candles anyway. Because <sighs> I definitely just dropped this one and it shattered like all the way up here. So it is what it is. We'll make it work. I actually like them a lot. I kind of like them shorter. Um, as you saw, initially they weren't going to fit anyway. So putting or breaking them down, now now they fit. So I, I don't know. I actually... I wish, I'm going to agree that I wish, or not agree, but I'm going to say I do kind of want a double loop here of those. So I'm not sure exactly how we're going to go about doing that. But let's go ahead and move over to the fireplace and kind of see what we can kind of conjure up there. All right, I did forget that I had these other hearts to use. Um, I have this one and the smaller one, this and this. I think I'm going to put this one over here. Let's see how that one looks. I mean, I think I kind of like it right there. I think that's really cute. Maybe it'll help deter the cats from jumping up there and eating the little cattails. I don't know. I like the touch of pink. I think it looks really pretty. So anyway, let's go ahead and work on the fireplace. So stuck, I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever so free, oh my sweet baby And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else for the rest of our time And I know it so well, I will always be by your side All the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby Cause you, 
all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby sure I'm sold on the heart but I think I kind of like it the only downfall is I won't be able to use the heater for the fireplace unless I take it take that down but I think it's cute I don't know what do you what do you guys think let me know well let me put up I might steal this heart back and put it over here and maybe like that. Let me play around with this real quick. I, mm, I, I don't know. Let me play around with this real quick. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Even if the sky is falling down. Yeah. The sky is falling. did put the candlesticks up I think I love it I think it is so pretty just a soft touch of Valentine's Day 
and I think this is going to work. I use the smaller heart instead. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think down in the comments, but I put the other flower heart back over here, used the smaller wood one that I had hanging here. I put it up here because that's probably going to get a little bit annoying having to move it if I want to use the heater. Not that we use it very often and hopefully we won't be using it very much, but I... I love that. I think it is so pretty. So let's go ahead, get some of this pink, and put it on the couch. table runner that I got. I don't think I'm going to decorate in the kitchen, but I just, I love just the simple touch of pink. I love that I can make my fireplace pink to kind of just tie it all in together. It's not all in your face screaming Valentine's Day, but that's okay. I love the simplicity of it, and I think it all turned out absolutely beautiful. This blanket and the other blanket are just so incredibly soft, and they will be so nice to cozy up with on the couch, turning the pink flames on. I, you don't have to worry about these falling over. I don't usually light them. They are purely for decor purposes only. I only light my little candle that's over here, but I think it turned out so good. I absolutely love it, and I think it is just so pretty. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys got a little bit of inspiration from this to decorate your own homes just in a simple, fun little way. So if you did, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't don't forget to hit the red subscribe button. Come back. We have more fun stuff coming up the rest of this year. So anyway, guys, I hope you all stay happy, healthy, and safe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.